It's IBC 2023, and I'm outside the front of the Rye in Amsterdam in the broadcast Hungary truck, and I'm speaking with Michael from Colorec. Hi, Michael. Hello. Nice How to you meet doing? you. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Good, good. Yeah, good very good. You. Very good. So, um, so in front of one of your Argo desks in a truck. I don't right. think I've seen an Argo in a truck before, but go on. This is the first one. This is the okay. first time an Argo has been in a truck. Absolutely. So, what made them specify this panel uh, in this truck? A whole bunch of reasons. Um, it's completely modular in terms of the, the, the faders, where you can put the faders, how many faders you can have. And also, you can have um, a, a good choice of where you put rotary controls or where you put um, dual fader uh, configurations. So, this gives you uh, the ability to have more faders than you would normally have in this kind of space. Right. That's one reason. And is, uh, am I right? Because th is this an Argo Q or an this Argo is an S? S, S this is, this and is that's an smaller S. in form factor? It's smaller in its depth. In its depth. Yeah, it's, uh, the, the, they're identical apart from the depth of the, of the console. The Q has more depth. So uh, what, how did they configure this? Well, give me, give, run, let's run through some features. Well, what they wanted to do was they wanted to have um, the ability to run this console as, a, as, a, a, as an assignable kind of console, which is uh, quite a familiar way of working with broadcast consoles, mm. uh, but also to use these uh, modules to make uh, channel strips. So that means that you can control uh, multiple paths, EQ on multiple paths at the same time, for example, which is something they need to do quite often. And you can swap between the two modes in a single button press. So it's very useful to be able to configure it that way. Um, they also, uh, obviously in a truck like this, you've got space restrictions. Um, so what the Argo gives you is the ability, we've got the meter bridge there. Um, yeah. And uh, if you can't, if there's not enough space to fit the meter bridge, then you can have a, a version of this without that meter bridge, and you can put the uh, the meters then actually go on the lower screen like that. So oh, it, okay. it's, it's flippable, so you can actually use uh, yeah, this screen to show the meters. You don't need to have that screen with um, a button press. With a single <coughs> button press, yeah. And also in a room like this, you can see that there's there's space restrictions in terms of the monitors as well, the video monitors as well. Yes. yes. And uh, on the Argo, you can actually feed in two independent um, video feeds into each bay. And again, with a single button press, you can flip that to show the video, uh, the in independent video input. So it, it, you can actually use the Argo screens to display something which you would have previously been forced to put onto another screen. Yeah. And so there's no, the, I mean, there's no real, Okay, let's ask. What kind of work are they doing? Do you know on the, on this truck? What sort of jobs are they? Well, this is uh, an independent truck, so basically they can do anything from uh, you know sports, uh, OB fan sports, football, uh, a, a, any other kind of events like um, uh, maybe some kind of concert, maybe something like that. It's a, it's a flexible. This is basically it's a, a, it's a flexible truck, and they yeah. don't lose uh, you know much or any functionality from any of the. It's like bigger desks or no not at all no I mean it's the the um, ability to actually put any control into any position and use any of these screens to perform uh, any any function that you actually want to do mm. uh, there's no uh, th there's nothing lost uh, in any functionality of the, of the console the the also the other thing is of course is that space is a is a big a big thing and yeah. uh, the Argo uh, can be supplied with a, an impulse one core, which is just one U, so it's just a one U for for the actual right. DSP, oh, okay. the yeah. actual DSP core, which gives you a, a huge amount of space saving as well. Absolutely fantastic! Thank you very much. No problem. Well, thanks. We uh, will always try and do some more with Colric if we get the opportunity. So keep an eye out on the playlist for that and for everything else that we're doing at IBC. Please visit kitplus.com.